the impact of ER must have, I mean, that, that must have astonished you. And because mm -hmm. they, you've been working pretty well, you know, um, yes. hardly anybody really noticing you, I guess, among the right. audience. And suddenly, here you are, this great heartthrob. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Huh? Uh, it's always good to turn around 35 to become a heartthrob. That's always fun. Uh, it gives me, what, two <laughs> more years of a career? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm you know, back on Hollywood Squares. Um, I, uh, yeah, it, it, it was wild. It, it's just immensely successful, and I'm surprised that it has lasted as long as it has because there is a gimmick to our show. You know, the energy and things were part of our gimmick, um, and there is a period of time that that becomes old, and the challenge then becomes we're not worried about competition in the United States. Uh, we're worried about our, the, competing with ourselves and our, the season that we did before. So we try to make the show better and and that's become the big challenge and sometimes we succeed and sometimes we fail what the hell are you doing I'm trying to boost the jack ball up oh yeah i feel his kidneys in the airway okay get the forceps I've got a long one. Did you feel the ball? Uh, ah, it's moving. Oh, I almost got it. <laughs> you good? I got it. All right, good. All right. These residents on their way down. Is he breathing? Maybe it's pale. Yep, he's breathing. What on earth made you think to do that? Well, what surprised me is that, you know, after that big impact, mm -hmm. um, the, the first movie you chose to star in was from Dusk Till Dawn. It's a bizarre <laughs> film. Yeah, well, for, my intention was to do a, a good part in a, in a good film. This movie came around, and it was an opportunity to work with Quentin Tarantino, who had just won the Oscar for writing the last thing that, that, that he'd written. Uh, Robert Rodriguez, who I think is an innovative filmmaker, Harvey Keitel, Juliette Lewis, uh, Miramax. It was a great opportunity for me. It was also a great part. And it was exactly the opposite of what I do on yeah. the show. And the, the truth was, I didn't have to carry the movie. The, Harvey was the uh, lead, even though I had a, you know, kind of the main focus it was my character. But, uh, Quentin and the, 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 the things that surround Quentin when he does those, that all became the aura of the film. And I got to be part of it, a big part of it, but I didn't have to carry it. So I was protected in a lot of ways. <laughs> you think that was funny? <laughs> It's, it's a hell of a leap from there to, to one fine day, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And, and I gather mm -hmm. that virtually the first thing you had to do on one fine day was, was, was to start necking with Michelle Pfeiffer. Day one. Day one. That's so, too bad. At that point, you must have thought there are worse ways of making a living. I, and, I, and I thought I, I, I couldn't believe that, 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 that they were going to pay me. Um, yeah, the idea to... to uh, I think it was day, or first day, we had to do the last scene in the movie where I finally get to kiss her. Um, and and it's a little intimidating anyway, you know. Yeah. It's intimidating to work imagine. with Michelle. Michelle, again, that was a, a movie where I liked the script a lot, and I thought, it's a really sweet film. It's an old-style um, uh, romantic comedy. But what I loved about it, the opportunity was, for me, I got to work opposite Michelle Pfeiffer, and that took my career and put it in a little bit better place. And I, my only concern was not screwing up that, because that's just, a, it's intimidating, you know? So you just want to, you know, I wanted to kind of quietly ease into that one. And that was, again, that was a, a good move for me because it was Michelle's movie. Yeah. You know, I still hadn't but, had to carry one. But you, you, you didn't re really know her, but you had dated her sister. Had you? Yeah, I dated Dee. So, so yeah. I mean, snogging with Pfeiffer's wasn't in Sure, I'd, I'd, I'd known the snogs. <laughs> I'd, known the, I'd known the snogs. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, I'd known the Pfeiffers for quite yeah. some time. And thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Sure. sure. It's okay. <laughs>